Dad, we're really going to go to the bookstore. We will, we will. I'm just admiring this cafe. This wasn't here when I was a student here. Here we go. <laughs> you really need to be thinking about where you're going to go to college and, you know, all the ins and outs of the application process. Dad, I have two years left in high school. I can barely pass bio as it is. Elena, you'll do fine in your class. You always do, but your dad is right. You need to really start thinking ahead, planning. You can't just show up on a college campus and see, here I am. I mean, if you're to go to Cornell, for example. Oh, you, nah, don't well, start. But if you go to Cornell, you really need to get, you know, get your game on and, and uh, get your applications in and, and start to show that you've really got a plan. I've got to admit, your mother is right about that. You need to start early with the process. Whether it's Cornell or whether it's CUCA, you need to get ready. Uh, you need to do the stuff to make sure that you get into the school that you want. What, whichever place you decide to go, uh, we'll support you, whether it's CUCA, Cornell, or someplace else. Just let like go to college, okay? I plan on going to college. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> I'm just checking something about your plans. Sometimes I wonder about them. What are you talking about, Dad? Well, you're, some of your friends, I don't think they have the best influence on you. I mean, some of them are, you know, interested in other things. Ew, uh, well, and if, really, Dad? Well, you know, I don't know if you're the right person to talk about this, dear. Do you remember your friend Tom Johnson? Who's Tom Jackson? Well, your dad invited me to Cuba for the weekend. He and his friend Tom Johnson thought it'd be a lot of fun to fool me into thinking your dad had a crush on me. So I arrived for the weekend. I come into the room, and there's um, the lights are all off, there's music playing, there's a table with a candle, two chairs, some wine. A bottle of wine? You brought wine in campus? Wine? We had beer kegs all the time. I don't get any ideas. The drinking age was much younger then. I don't want you to be drinking. Anyway, your dad um, tells me to, you know, to relax, make myself comfortable, have a glass of wine. <laughs> so I have a glass of wine, I close my eyes, I'm lying there feeling comfortable, and the next thing I know, this figure comes up and plants this disgusting, juicy kiss on my lips. And that's how you guys started dating? Well, not quite, but it wasn't too long after that. But yes, that's sort of the beginning of the story. And you chose to be together? Yes, and not a day doesn't go by, and I don't <laughs> wonder and question that decision. <laughs> but. Speaking of friends, Tracy? Michelle! Sam, what are you doing here? I didn't know you were coming. Well, we came up at the last moment for family weekend. Oh. Just sort of a spur of the moment kind of family getaway. Well, why didn't you call? Well, it was just too spontaneous. We just decided to come last minute. We're always spontaneous. We're, I'm getting ready to take Elena over to the uh, bookstore. Oh, you remember Elena, don't I you? I remember you. Nice to see you again. Oh, you're a beautiful young lady. Thanks. We're going to go take a couple minutes and get that uh, go to the bookstore. Okay? All right. See you soon. Tracy, hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Good. Good to see you. Again. No, I mean. Oh no, no. Glad, glad to have you join me. It's been a long time. Elena looks like uh, she's a pretty wonderful young lady. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think you can just come in here after all this time and act like nothing has happened? I think you've got this all wrong. I know you've always had a thing for my husband. Oh, please. You've always been jealous of the relationship I've had with him. But you know what? You've won. The battle's over. If I wanted him, I could have gotten him a long time ago. No contest. 
the hell do you think you are to come in here like this? You bitch! Come here all this time. You know, Tris, wait, wait, would you? Who do you think you are? You know what, Tracy? I'm gonna get a cup of coffee. Would you like a cup of coffee? You want one? No, I don't want anything from you.
I don't want to hang out with them. You can if you want to. No. All right, then let's go. I like the new retreat location. It's very comfortable, seems to suit the purpose. How about security? Well, thank you, sir. The CIA was here, they purchased it undercover, no one knows. It's been swept twice, it's been cleaned. You can speak freely, whatever you want to talk about, discuss with me today, no one will hear you, it's our own place. I'm glad to hear it, good job. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Mr. President, excuse yes. me. I just found out that we have over 50 casualties, 100 and counting are infected, and both Geneva General and other hospitals are filling up as we speak. That's much worse than we thought. What's going on up there? I've alerted the CDC. They're going to have it contained just to central New York. Rest assured, our best person's on the ground. Michelle will handle it. Well, I'm glad to hear Michelle's there. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I want you to get on a plane immediately for central New York. Your job is to make sure Michelle has whatever she needs. But before you do that, I want you to alert all the major networks, presidential address this evening, 7 p.m. Go. And while she's busy doing that, you need to get in touch with the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and make sure they know what's happening. The Joint Chiefs of Staff. The Joint Chiefs of Staff and my cabinet. I want my cabinet alerted and ready for a meeting as soon as possible this afternoon. Today? Today. This is DEFCON 3. DEFCON 3? Yes, sir. I'll handle it. Handle it. May our children forgive us. yourself off. You're dead. Who the hell do you think you are? He saved me. He saved you? Looks like he did a good job. I'm the one that just saved you. Jerk. Well, you can stay here and hang out with your savior, but I don't think he's getting up. Wait, I'll come with you. Sorry about earlier. I I don't even know your name. We don't have time for this right now. Just call me Dom. Okay, I'm Elena. Let's go.
the car? Everything okay? Close fit, great. The car looks really good. As long as we get everything loaded right now, we do that going. Okay. Okay, yeah. Come on, James. We gotta get moving. The network is up and running. We'll make sure to make any phone calls to use in All right. That's it. Sorry. All right. Thanks. Yep. I think we can get in over here. Okay. digits so keep trying things. Someone in here can help us. I'll try to pick the lock. I think it's open. Touche. We've got to get back to campus and get Elena. I don't like it. It's too dangerous. We're not going to leave Elena there. Bill, the campus is under quarantine. We don't need to go anywhere near that campus right now. The government's got it under control. The government. You think you can really do a better job than the government right now? I don't care. I'm not leaving Elena there. Whoa, what's that up in the road? are you doing with a gun? Get in the car. Now! Freeze. Put the gun down. Not whoa, on your whoa, life. whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
get in the car. Now! Okay. I wonder how my dad's doing. I don't think it's helping you to listen to this. Professor? Well, you did look kind of older. Are you worried about your folks? Don't worry about it. I'm sorry, I was just trying to make conversation. Just drop it. This is Dr. Simmons, beginning trial of unknown pathogen, test number one. Sample has already been contaminated. I'm gonna have to 
find a completely new source of blood. I don't think so. Look, the blood your boss gave me is contaminated. We need a fresh source of blood, so if you want to donate that, feel free. Fine, but I'll be right here watching. Whatever floats your boat. You want me to pull down my pants and cough? Will that get you off? That's normal blood. Now to add the pathogen. God! can't be seen here for too long. Have you made the decision yet? I don't have many details. I don't know yet. You already have enough details. You have more than enough details than you probably should. If I do this, that's it. I want to be done. I don't want to hide. I don't want to run anymore. That's it for me. You already are a hero. We've chosen you because of your training. The Navy SEALs, the Air Force, you're the reason why we're doing this. Because of your experiences. Okay, I'm in. When do I start? Now. You start right now, but remember, your life and the girls are in extreme danger. I'm counting on you. Don't disappoint me.
Holy shit. I guess they got everybody even campus safety. Not everyone. Not yet. Are you okay? Do you need help sitting down? You guys need to get out of here. The DEC can't contain the virus. The eaters are taking over. Why don't you come with us? We need an extra person. I can't. I've been bitten. Might be best if I take you out of your misery. No, no. No, don't do that. We can still save you. There's nothing we can do. I'd rather die with a little dignity than become one of those things. No, we can save you. You still have a chance. Please don't. No. It's for the best. What's your name?
dumb. Did you kill them? Don't worry about it. Did you kill them? You can't play God. Why not? I'm Jesus freaking Christ himself. Um, do you do you see that over there? It looks like a bunch of eaters. So let's just go around this way. Uh, I think I think we should help them. That's not a good idea. We're just gonna get eaten. I'm not, that's not what I want to do. Let's just go around. But what about the people inside the building? There's probably not anyone there. Do you see people around on campus? I really think that we should go over there. Come on. <laughs> Thanks for your help, but I think it's time for you guys to leave. You can't stay here? You're not gonna let us inside? There's not enough room in there for anybody else but me. What are you, hoarding food or something? You need to back away now! You really wanna do this? I think it's time for you to leave. Why don't you put that gun down if I like a man? Put the sword down and walk away! No. Sex been compromised anyway. Let's just get inside. Secure the door. Back there, a police officer. Five minutes, okay, and then we can talk. We can't. All right, I, I, We've five. got to get Elena. I'll, that's all I need, okay? And then we can go do whatever you need to do.
Elena, please get in touch with me as quickly as you can. I'm worried about you. Uh, I'm not going to leave without you. Get back in touch with me as soon as you get this. Thanks for letting us in. I thought you were going to let us die back there. Probably should have. Better off on my own. You sure about that? You didn't look so good till we showed up. Son, I've been a Marine for 10 years. I've been working those eaters for the last 12 hours. Matter of fact, I've got half a dozen of them sitting in the basement right below where you are right now. We should leave. We can't leave now. It's too dangerous out there. Eaters would get us before we get out the door. He's right. We screwed ourselves over the moment we left those eaters out there. That's why I've been pulling them in and bring them into the basement. Been collecting them. Otherwise they attract the others. I think our next steps need to be at dawn. We break for Davis Hill and reach the evac point. There isn't going to be an evac point. They're going to bomb this whole area. It's not military protocol. Listen, G.I. Joe. This isn't military protocol. This is CDC we're talking about. Why don't you tell us a little more about CDC protocol? They can't contain this virus. So they're going to quarantine the area and bomb everything. Who are you? Why do you know so much? This is Dom. He's a student here at Kuka. And I'm Elena. I'm just visiting. You don't seem like just a student. Maybe I'm not just a student. Son of a bitch. Listen, my intel tells me there's an evac point at the top of Davis Hill. I'm rolling out at dawn, with or without the both of you. You can think about it. For now, I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to check on these eaters. Want some backup? No. You guys stay here and watch the doors. You sure about that? Positive. We gotta stop this. He's no good to his dad. That's enough! <laughs> with this virus. It's, it's not developing like a normal virus should. The, the bacteria multiplies faster than anything I've ever seen. But that's, that's really not the most surprising bit of it. The, the virus, the bacteria, doesn't overtake the original cells in the body. The virus leaves the original cells intact and untouched, which, wait, wait, I've seen this before. During, during the Vietnam War, the, the U.S., the U.S. military gave DNA to the CDC and the, the DNA duplicated all cells that interacted within the body and it, it mutated them and then the subject died hours later but this this kind of fast development is just not natural this this so called virus is not what the media says it is 
This this is a military manufactured biological weapon. They, it's been released on the American public. Well, let's see what you've come up with. What have you done so far? What have you come up with? Tell me what's the truth. What's going on here? I don't know what's going on. Don't lie to me. Do you know what this is? Sodium pentothal. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, no, 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 you don't want to do that. And it's got something extra that's going to make it burn like hell. I'm gonna ask you one last time. Where are we? We're in the Pentagon. The, the Pentagon? Yes, the Pentagon. What is this virus? What's going on? We were supposed to take the bacteria and have it transported to Washington to Fort Drum, New York, the Army base. We caused an accident in Geneva, New York. We intentionally caused an accident? Releasing a weapon of mass destruction? Yes, yes. Who is we? We, the United States government. What? How could you release? A weapon of mass destruction on the American people. You of all people, doctors, should know <laughs> that the humans are always the guinea pigs. You of all people should know. I've checked your file, the CDC. You are well past animal testing. Humans were next. We always use the humans as guinea pigs. Always. You know that. Well, I can't deny it. But Dr. Hasgard lied to me. He told me they were all volunteers. As soon as I knew that, I went straight to the top. I went to the top and told them about Dr. Hasgard's lies. And you know what they did? You know what they did? They discredited me. They fired me. I can't find a job anywhere now. So I am going to release the truth to the American people. I am going to tell them the lies that the CDC and military and even the U.S. government have told. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're just going to make me the hero. Go ahead. Why did you bring me here to duplicate this bacteria? We brought you here. To use you as a scapegoat. We don't want to find a cure. We have the cure. We found the cure out in the desert. It came from an extraterrestrial back in the 1940s. That's where we got it from. We're doing what science always wanted to do. Prolong life. We're doing something they couldn't figure out to do. But we got it from somewhere else, and we're trying to do the right thing and make people live longer, healthier, find cures of the common cold. You didn't bring me here to create a cure? We wanted you to perfect it. To perfect is what we wanted. We needed your skills to put us over the top. 
you brought me here to create a super soldier? Now you're starting to get it. Yes, we wanted your skills to help create the super soldier. Yes. Yes. The United States will always be the strongest military power, always with this. No one can touch us now. Nobody. So why Geneva? Why central New York? It's where the money is, man. It's where the money is. The funding, the foundation of this, it all comes from there. How do you plan on getting the money from the source in Geneva by doing this? When you take away something that somebody cares and cherishes the most, you can make them do anything they want. Anything. You're sick. Let's stop with all this chatter. So let's just get to the point. We need you to fix it, make the cure. We need to get it to the survivors of New York now. We need you to help us get this to the survivors of New York right now. I'm not gonna help you, Mr. Secretary. I'm not gonna help create your super soldier. Those people are already dead. The CDC protocol for, con for containment is to burn everything if they can't contain it. There's no way I'm gonna help you build your super soldiers. But I will tell you one thing. Say hello to the American people. What? What is that? What is that? If you're gonna release this on the American people, experience it for yourself. What? What? Ah! You'll find the answers in Nevada. Remember, Alan, e plura blessuna. We are gods. Gods! We're all gods! It's been too long. I want to find out what he's up to. Well, don't leave me here. I don't have much of a choice. I just want to see what's going on. I don't trust him. But what if some? What if a zombie or an eater comes in? Here, I think you've used one of these before. You can I, figure it out. I don't know what to do with this. Stab him with the pointy end. Yes. Good, you survived. Are you surprised? Not at all. That is, of course, why you were hired. What do you want? Is she dead? Is the mission complete? She lives. She's around, resting. Resting, damn it! You're supposed to make sure she's alive. We're not paying you to. You're paying me to die. I know about your plan. 
You're gonna bomb the whole area. I don't know what you're talking about. But I can assure you, if this task isn't completed, I will personally make your life a living hell. Do not cross me. I'm tired of being your pawn. If you don't watch yourself, I'm gonna come after you next, Michelle. How do you know my name? Look alive. It's time to move. Let's get a move on. Top of this hill is the evac point. About five clicks. I wonder how DC is handling all this. Must be a real mess for the Secretary of Defense. Dom, are you okay? Why don't we lay all the cards on the table? Why don't you tell us who you really are? Guys, we really have to get to the evac point. It's up there. <laughs> there is no evac. Stop! Who are you? Who were you on the phone with? Hi, stop. Stop. That's the last time you point a gun in my face. <laughs> Who's Michelle? Michelle, what do you know about Michelle and my dad? What do you know about Michelle? You better pray our paths don't cross again.
lie about there being an evacuation point. Couldn't trust Dom, obviously. Well, I don't think I can trust you. Listen, I know I wasn't being completely honest before. I'm telling you right now, we gotta get down to the docks. I got a boat down there. All we gotta do is stop and grab some supplies, and then we get the hell out of here. Okay. All right, as soon as we get in the ball, we're gonna go upstairs and just scavenge whatever we can get. All right? Wait, that's down the sword over there. We don't, we don't need it. Let's just go. Listen, I see Dom. We gotta get you somewhere safe. Come on, man. Alright, we're going right in here. Don't make a sound. I'm gonna come back for you. Hit the lights. I'll be back.
my God. Ball Hall is on fire. I wonder if Elena is in there. Get out of here. This place is overrun with those things. Okay. Well, there's clothes and supplies in the laundry room. All right. Did you change? I did, but that doesn't matter right now. Well, hold on, hold on. There's a ton of units down here. Well, let's get the heck out of here. Listen, take the keys. The dock's straight ahead. That's where the boat is. You gotta go. But you have to come with us. You have I, to come with us. I can't. I gotta step in now. I, there's us. no time. They're coming right now. You guys gotta go. Well, at least, at least take the sword. Be safe. Good luck. Bye. Come on, Elena. Come 
on it. It's clear. Let's go. We gotta get out of here. same place twice. Come on! Watch out! There's another one of those things! Leave you again, Elena.
show. Lieutenant. General? It's a new world. 